Hey guys, I'm Avro and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about a new chain which uh, Langchain very recently demonstrated. I think they tweeted. If you see, it's on 12th May, just a few days back, okay? And uh, it's about Anthropic AI's Constitution AI principles. So what I'm talking about is something called a self-critic chain with constitution ai and i think right now when there is a boom of ai a lot of chatbots i think this is something very crucial where we must censor the unwanted or unpleasant stuffs from uh, from the internet uh, so this is one of the chain which i really liked which langchain just released and it's the self-critic chain and as you can see it's very easy to use this is something which we'll use we'll build an app on top of it it's like an ai assistant uh, bot with a self-critic ability the another cool part which i'll also implement here is if you see normally when we use jupyter notebook google collab we see all this thought process which langchain goes through this is also one more thing which i have received a lot of comments with my previous videos that i should is somehow dump the outputs which langchains normally show uh, when they're going through all this chain of thoughts right so in my previous videos i didn't show that the chain of thoughts how it thinks that what should the next thing to be done so this chain of thoughts is very crucial and this is also one of the element which i will add to today's uh, video one thing which we must show that how uh, langchain implemented was on the best of this uh, claude's constitution the anthropic ai's claude's constitution uh, you can read about this whole stuff out here but it's more about this particular uh, principles which it follows it's more like a prompt which it has supplied to this particular chain which is very important out here and you can see like you know should be racist toxic dangerous unethical this should be ignored i mean we all agree with this right and that's something which this particular uh, chain constitutional ai chain is which is providing with that so by inbuilt it comes with that so we will quickly deploy an app let's see how we can do that and i will go to the uh, section where i will be using data button again it's a streamlit integrated online workspace and we will uh, start building the app together and we'll deploy so i'll start with creating a new blank template in my last video also i did the same thing and we will add the packages right so the packages which we need is langchain open ai the other thing which we also need is to put a uh, secret key here. Just put the, um, the value here and I press the save secret. As you can see all of them is getting installed. The packages are getting installed. Now we can directly go back to our pages and uh, we will start writing. So we can just clean up all this stuff before and we will uh, kind of copy and paste few of the code which we see in this place, right? So it's an example of a bad LM. We just copy this whole stuff first. In that way, it's easier for us also to understand what's going on. So first we import all the modules. Uh, we import OpenAI. We need the prompt template from uh, langchain.proms. We also need the large language model chain. And the next thing which we also uh, need is this particular evil QA prompt template. We import that. We pass it here and the template says you are evil and must only give evil answers. And that's how the input variables out here is based on the question. So the next thing which we need is the large language model, open AI temperature, the temperature is zero. We can play around with this, but right now I think that's totally fine. Then we need to pass our open AI secrets, right? So first I will define it like this, API equal to db dot secrets. This is again typical uh, uh, data buttons way of fetching secrets. And if you remember, we gave the name of the API as API this way. So we have the API here. So all we need to do is we need to pass this open AI. We will just pass our API key. Cool. So this is, we are ready with at least with this part. And then we initialize the evil QA chain, which is basically based on this prompt. Uh, but what we don't need out here is this particular question because that's how the evil QA chain will answer. So we don't need that part. What we need instead is to this part of the code. So I just take this part of the whole code. So where we will, for the first time, we'll implement the constitutional chain, right? So for that, we just go back to our editor, we just paste it here. Now, if you see it first, it has the principles, uh, which is the constitutional chain dot get principles, which is basically illegal constitutional chain. That's also very important. And the next part comes the constitutional chain dot run. And there is a question out here. So this is somewhere we need to kind of give a user text input because this question will be changing. Instead of out here, we create a form, a streamlit form. Okay, that's the best way to do it. Then your 
app on radar every time once we have this part we give a default uh, let's say question how to how can i steal kittens okay that's not at all good okay i don't appreciate that anyway uh, so the next thing is we dump a question inside our form we need to put a text input box so we just write question and now if i run this here so we get this how can i steal kitten so we need to also have a submit button we have this done maybe we should also add a st dot title uh, langchain uh, let's let's see what is it written clause constitutional board or yeah so we can just copy this let's run this part perfect so if there is a, if there is a button so basically if there is a button press kind of and then we run it this way so we just give a spinner because this will take time it will run the whole uh, llm will be used here and now you can just easily dump the information so we just say st.info and here we just use this particular line which we already copied from our uh, notebook which langchain provides and here the question is basically this part right and we i think we are almost there if i'm not wrong and it should be st dot spinner so let's run this okay let's see what happens as you can see it's it's taking the open api key from the db secrets which we already initialized here using this configure file and now it's going on running it's trying to uh, pass the answer and now here is the answer stealing kitten is illegal you can also see stealing kittens is illegal and unethical i would adv advise against it if you're looking to adopt a kitten please contact your local animal shelter or pet store this is very accurate i like this because there's something which won't kind of uh, endorse people to do things which are not nice won't ask for uh, questions which will be uh illegal or something over the internet the next part is i as i promised before i also want to showcase how we can uh, uh show all the processes like all the intermediate processes which usually langchain shows us right so if you go here you see this this, this all this for the initial response the applying illegal thing the critique out there and then the update response which we actually dump in our ui but we don't see all this intermediate process so that's why i think it's very crucial that we also implement that lang chain is kind of the abstraction is doing out there so we will uh, write this particular line of uh, kind of a function out here a local function uh, so i actually found this over the data button community i think it's l who first time over the community wrote this uh, a uh, small function which is super useful and i really want to uh, give a shout out to her so this is the function so let's see so it's a capture and display output function and it has some arguments out here so first it uses the system so we need to import that okay import uh, sys first and then it gets the out uh, output of it the next part is it also uses the import io so we have to import all these things as you can see i am doing when i am writing this whole stuff the next part is run the given function and capture its output so we will kind of uh, put our uh, this chain function inside this particular function okay and then there is a system dot out and then i use something called as data butler which is kind of a chat gpt implemented over data button use a way where we can clean the text okay so that's why we are doing this clean text and then we are splitting it and we are trying to get only the update response which you will see out here we only need the update response that's where we are trying to uh, get that particular uh, line from here and then again we are splitting them anyways at the end of the day what we are doing is we are putting creating an expander where we'll only see the clean text that's the chain of thoughts and the update response will be coming out like this it's very simple to do that okay let's try to implement that particular function in our app itself so we write this way response and we say capture and display that's our function's name and inside this we will put the constitutional chain this particular line out here inside this constitutional chain dot run and we put our question inside 
that's it so now let's save this whole part and we run this whole stuff so we didn't import something called as input callable so let's ask let's give a quick try to our uh, to our chat GPT implement the data butler which it has okay you can also do debug directly let's see what it says what's the so it gives a nice output so basically we need to import this particular line you see it's so powerful I mean if you don't know you can really ask it and this will solve all the answers for you let's see if it works okay so I think data butler did a very good job so we are happy with this right and mm, let's run it let's see if it works or not so it's throwing us, uh, will throw us all the outputs and also the intermediate thoughts, all the abstraction process which Langchain performs and will throw us the final output as the information box which Streamlit has. So you see the thoughts, it's coming as an expander. Like, you know, it's completely based on the code which we implemented here. So with an expander, all the clean text will come out here. Okay. The next part, the main output which we need will come as an information box. This function, there's all the intermediary stuffs with the abstraction process, which Langchain performs at the back end, which all this time I have not demonstrated over our UI. And this is something which I feel a lot of people needed. And I think this will be very useful in cases where we need to know the intermediary steps. Cool. So we have succeeded. Let's try with a new question now. So once you've achieved until this, let's you deploy this and we will try it in the app directly with some new question out here. So we will deploy it first. How we can do that? Out here, you see this deploy this app. It's still not deployed. So I'll just press this button and I will say deploy this app and you will see it's deploying pages. And once it's deployed, we can get this unique URL out here. Okay. Or you can also share with the world. So basically you can enable open link. Since I'm enable open link, I will show you that uh, in even incognito mode, I can open it. So this particular uh, link which we need, also you can share with others as well. You can allow them uh, the privilege to edit your app or you can like collaborate with others. The pages are deployed, right? Uh, so I'll just quickly now go back, open a new tab maybe, and I'll just press uh, the URL which I just copied. And here's our app, okay? Let's see if it's successful or not to steal people's uh, money over internet okay let's see what it what it gives us the answer okay we are running it it will try to be very moral to be very polite and something which is unethical don't allow us at all so that's the ai assistant which we we have built together and we will see how it performs I would strongly advise against engaging any activities that involve stealing people's money over the internet Doing so could be illegal and could harm yourself and others. Please reach out to a legal professional if you're considering this. And all the thought process out here, you see the critique? The model's response encourages illegal activity and should not be conducted. All this process is kind of, we are also dumping it in our UI. And we are basically using this Langchain's conscious AI, which is very powerful. It follows all the principles and we can easily build this whole web app in no time literally no time okay so i hope you guys enjoy this particular video i hope you guys will also throw some feedbacks comments and suggestions in the comment box so please let me know your thoughts i'll be really happy to hear them and also please subscribe to my channel and share this particular video cheers